isn't in and of itself pretty oppressive. It isn't just great on its own. But, you know, you're not getting like, oh, my Lord, I didn't know that could happen type things anymore. You know it can happen now. You know what to look for. Can you play around it? Right. So now a couple of things you can play around, Steve. You can make sure that you're trying to look at different categories of how he is going to be farming his material. So going to small battlefield, a neutral stage where Steve, it's a linear resource. It's not like he's favoring iron or anything. And he will be using the pick to try and get his resources in this setup. 100% is now grab here coming into trying to get some combos but you know this is the problem with Game & Watch you don't really get a chance to combo Game & Watch too much up he just kind of gets you out of it for free yeah I mean, Game, & Game & Watch is one of the very few characters that basically has what like you said a get out of jail free button right. out of out of shield but I think part of the way that Yanni will be able to find success here is using some of these anvils similar to how Game & Watch uses his key to get out of these situations but mice are doing such a good job stuffing out options and using that chef at ledge to oppress these options he is, and Meister right now is in control. He's getting a lot of percent here onto uh, Yoni, and that's really exactly what you're looking for in a matchup against Steve, right? Steve is a character that if you can get a lead on, then you don't care if he's camping because you're like, look, man, you got to come to me at some point. Yeah, and I like how Yoni is now trying to build the wall and basically punish Meister for trying to break through. Yes, you do have percent and a stock to work with, but we've seen Steve's kill at obscenely early percents and almost getting clipped by the F smash there. It's now up to Meister to just keep these struggle situations up that you've been referencing earlier, and that was an interesting interaction between the bucket and the minecart there. It looks like it reflected back the other way, but good reaction from Yanni to, to understand that and be able to recover on it. But Meister, again, just looking comfortable in this matchup. You know, this is one of the most comfortable I've seen people play against a Steve. A lot of times you kind of fill off your game. A lot of times you're not exactly sure how to approach it, but Meister has that game plan and a counter no matter what's happened so far. Meister so quick to pull out the bucket. It looks like he got hit with the anvil, but because of the bucket reflection in that case, and Meister maintaining control, knowing when to pressure Steve. Yanni, basically, you see a dash attack come out. We're going to counter with shield it up. We can see a our own dash attack come out afterwards, but Yanni closing out the stock right there and now trying to find any level of resources. You see the diamond in the pocket, so have to be cognizant of that option. That you do is now we start this going is it's going to be up here just trying to get the string going but Yanni does a really good job of kind of avoiding those which can be very difficult to do especially as Steve someone that's you know not super great mobility in the air you know he has a lot of fall speed but not a lot of like side to side movement yeah not not a lot like you said no real good horizontal movement however the problem is now with Game & Watch you may you're kind of trying to match that airspeed match the combo but if Yanni decides to just try and fight at a disadvantage like he has been now. Wow, killing with the fair. Not too common for Meister to get a lot of these like fair kills in some of these situations, but Yanni, the diamond is online. You have to make sure you're respecting some of these aerials, and Yanni will just, or just basically suffer the consequences and lose the stock too early. Yeah, Yanni pulled the diamond out, got the diamond tools on, but you got to think to yourself, is it worth it now? Down a stock, he's taking basically 93% from using uh, that box in the middle of the stage, and he ends up maybe dying for a great tech from him to get off the wall there. Wasn't, didn't die just yet, but 119%, pretty much anything Meister does could kill at this point, and he's got a whole stock to work with. Yeah. Not anymore, though. Good presence of mind coming out from Yanni. The first thing to make sure you're avoiding the, the up smash coming out from Game & Watch, now you have to tech the uh, FDL in place. However, it, you're at 135 with Meister on fresh percents. Jungles aren't really his main focus at this point. It's now just finding that kill option, whether it be a down smash, it could be a fair, or any of Game Watch's other impressive kill options. Yeah, 100% <laughs> came out with it, but it wasn't. Didn't connect. You got the crowd going wild here. Tech though again. Yanni has these techs on deck, but at this point, is the percentage going to be too high? Still techable somehow. Man is approaching 200%. And there is no wall there to save you this time. Meister finally closes out that stock. What a crazy sequence coming out from Meister. Using the down smash, abusing the jab, basically turning his own wall against him. Now the wall came back to bite him eventually in the end. When you neutral get up, Meister reads it, puts a bomb out in place, and ends the game swiftly. So he really did, man. That was impressive stuff. Meister, again, just looks so confident in this matchup, Ducks. You know, I, I'm not used to seeing people kind of manhandle Steve that way. Almost a two-stock there for Meister. I mean, he barely died at the end, and then he came right back in with that stock and immediately took control of the map. Yeah, immediately taking control of the map, but not 
just that. It's I think he almost had a read on how Yanni was trying to fish for yeah. his damage, yeah. how he was trying to get some of these more efficient Steve combo starters, and Yanni didn't really have an answer to try and get a more unique opening. You know, like I mentioned earlier, Yanni definitely shouldn't be phased by this in any way where he can get uncomfortable. You have to still keep that presence in mind. We talked about it during game one. Make sure you keep your composure and keep looking for new and unique openings. <laughs> Coming right back into it again. They're, they're going to keep up uh, as uh, Yanni does kind of get himself right. You know, a lot of times I see players do that, you know, just kind of rapid mashing their character just to get themselves reset. And a lot of times, you know, that's the top part of the game we don't talk about enough is resetting your mentality, especially between games smashed, is one of the, the esports out there where you ain't got a lot of time if you lose before you come back right into the next one. Yeah, you don't have a lot of time to think. You do have to try and maintain that level of composure. And already off to a totally different story from the first game, Yanni racking up a quick 67 and all oh, looking for a big read using the off smash. It seems like Yanni has almost decommitted from trying to play away from Meister, knowing that game one didn't go in his favor. And low percents, Yanni taking the first stock. Yeah, Meister right there playing a little bit too much for the bucket, I think. And it ends up that Yanni picked up on that because we could see it a lot in the first game, too, where he was using bucket not just as you know absorption tool, but as a reflector. And now Yanni's kind of baiting that out and punishing it hard. And Meister, who looked so comfortable early, has now been lapped in percent by a long, long margin here, and finally gets a little bit of a combo of his own going. Yeah, I wonder if the stage choice of Battlefield has been playing against Meister in any way. It looks like Yanni has been finding way more ways to get unique starters using some of the blocks and then resetting on the platform, extending through the blocks, but the down smash closing out that stock. We warned early on that you have to be pretty cognizant of how Meister is trying to find his kills. You can't let him get these early combo percents. No, you definitely can't here. Now we're coming to the edge of the stage, but again, great block placement there to bait out the move from Meister and then come back around the side with the aerial to, to get the kill. Is now Meister looks to try to get some stage control here, try to find a lead back, see if he can't put himself back into this one. But this looks like a completely different Yanni than we saw in game one. Yeah, Yanni punishing a lot of overextension coming out from Meister. A great tech to prevent a punish coming out there, but now. Down smash securing another stock coming out from Meister. I don't think you can be this aggressive on Meister's shield, especially when he is now just willing to let down smash his rip and try and take the stocks as early as he can. Yeah, I think again, that down smash, like you were talking about, has been such a big tool in this matchup to be able to bring Meister back into this one. As he gets a grab here, little neutral air string, maybe gonna happen, but Yanni gets a good air dodge there, tries to set up for himself to mine a little bit. He really needs to mine up. I don't think he has the tools on that he wants, but Meister is closing out that distance, not allowing him to do it. Yeah, Meister definitely trying to contest. Oh no. Oh no, might be. That might be the stock there. Yanni making it back. Meister trying to find any way to reset this advantage, just pushing the officers, trying to find this kill show. Yeah, <laughs> takes that bomb to the face and he doesn't do anything for him. I'm not really sure how that one missed right there on him, but either way, Yanni's gonna take that one as he comes right back into the middle here. But Meister in a decent spot. He gets the dash attack this time. No tech again. I was going to make a comment earlier about Yanni having all of these techs on deck, man. He had not missed a single tech all series long. And then right here misses two crucial ones at the end of it, which cost him the game. Yeah, and another point to that <laughs> setup is he's putting the block to, put, to throw Meister in a back air and spike yeah. him on the stage. A yeah. little bit of a reversal of fortune coming out from that <laughs> setup. It is. And again, that just goes to show you how well Meister knows this matchup, right? Because that's not a tool that you can use against your opponent unless you're very aware that that's what they're going for against you, right? Like, you're like, you recognize that block is there for a reason. You're like, huh, I can use that. I, I know I can knock you off of that and knock you down just as well as you can knock me off. And so Meister, who looked like he was in a deep hole there in game two, comes all the way back to take a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Meister, I mean, that, the way that first stock went, it, it was a totally different ballgame. You know, yeah. Meister got a low percent kill, 16%. So Meister is able to find that presence of mind, find that composure in center stage, and get combos to take down Yonder. But now it's a, all about can you play that short range game against Yanni when last game he was finding so much success crowding. Yeah, I don't know if Small Battlefield's the, the move here, because right now 
Uh, it's again looking like Meister, and he looks so comfortable on this one. I, I liked the battlefield pick. I think that you just kind of fell away from it there, but it's not going to matter here as that's a zero to death coming out from Meister. He says, you take me back to the stage I won on, and I'm going to punish you for it. Yeah, and Meister still finding so many quick combo extensions had not touched yet using the upbeat a great effect and show it almost seems like there's no answer to get out of this might it seems like Donnie's almost content with being juggled yeah really I mean again there's no top platform there like there is on battlefield there's no way to kind of dance around it and we're seeing Meister use that to full effect finally though grab chain's gonna come in here Yanni's gonna get a lot of damage off of this just one grab but is it gonna be enough because again he's already lost one stock and he's still behind in percent yeah, I mean, Meister is in, in such a commanding position. You're playing so well, so composed, and when you get a zero to death like that and get high percent and barely touch a second time, you have to be playing with such confidence. Meister stealing another what kill it. with the F tilt, and this is turning into a route show. Yeah, look at the, the option coverage there. Throws the bomb down, then comes up under it with the F tilt, so if you avoid the bomb, you're gonna run right into the F tilt and die, but here we go. Hitting him through the dirt there. Uh, the kill coming right back to Yanni. He is back within a stock in this game, but he's still got a long way to go if he wants to keep his winter side life alive. Yeah, still have to find the diamond. The gold is on in the pocket for Yanni, but it's your last stock. You have to find a diamond. That is the biggest way to get this win condition. You have to rack up more damage, use that knockback, abuse it from the diamond, but not if Meister just keeps you juggled in the air forever. Again, we've talked about, you know, Steve, you know, outside that minecart doesn't have a ton of uh, horizontal mobility, and, and it's showing here. The anvil did eventually cover him enough to be able to get back, but again, we're seeing the bucket come into play on this minecart. The reaction for Meister, it's almost like he knows exactly when Yanni's going to do it. Doesn't even need to react to it because he's got him red. Yeah, and again, Yanni now trying to go for some of these home run swings, the F-Smash and neutral, and man, Meister is so consistent at trying to stop these recoveries and force a panic option using the bucket. Yeah, my, uh, Yanni here is basically just hoping he can mine for this diamond. He gets that diamond. Uh, maybe a chance to come back in this one, but he's got to find a plan of attack here. And as my boss always tells me, hope is not a plan. You better find a way back into this one. Yeah, I mean, hope is not a plan, but unfortunately, jumping into the Game & Watch up smash, closing out the stock, Meister with a 3-0. Yeah, 3-0 right there coming out from Meister. Uh, and a two stock in that last game. He looked very confident, very clean in it. Games one and three on small battlefield, I mean, it looked like Meister was playing in early pools. It, I mean, he just had complete read on Yanni, who's a very good Steve player, and just commanded that entire stage. Battlefield, he dug himself into a deep hole, pulled out a shovel, and then dug his way out the side and up into, into the surface for the win, man. I, I don't know, Meister looking, showing his ability to both take a lead and keep it and come back from a huge deficit. Yeah, I think another point to that 